Hello! Uh, we're starting with a black background because I want to show off a brand, well, a, a final version of a mod for a 13-year-old a, a game uh, that is both amazing. So let's go ahead and get this started, and I'm going to make my camera disappear. Oh, don't crash on me now. I have been testing this for the last 72 hours and dealing with bugs, which I will explain eventually. Okay. I can hear it. Hopefully you can too. There we go. Check it out. Star Trek Armada 3, the final version. Custom opening and everything. Welcome to a quick little showcase. This is only going to be like maybe six or seven episodes of Star Trek Armada 3, a full mod for Sins of a Solar Empire that converts Sins of a Solar Empire into probably what can be considered easily the best. Actually, let me check. Quick. Video, good. Good borderless window. Okay, with that, uh, probably the best Star Trek real time strategy game ever made. Uh, now, the base game is 13 years old. Highly recommend it if you're a fan of strategy games. Go ahead, get it. Tossing all the mods on it. There's mods that convert Sins of a Solar Empire into Halo, into Star Wars, into Star Trek, as we can see, into Stargate. There might even be one for Babylon 5. There's ones that convert it into, now you can play Star Wars versus Star Trek, or Stargate versus Star Wars. Versus Star Trek. There's a lot of mods for this game, which is why it has a 13-year lifespan and counting. Uh, so they started releasing Star Trek 3, Star Trek Armada 3 bots for it, I'll say 10 years ago. And they finally got to the point where we, we feel we cannot add any more to this mod. This mod is done. Here's the final version. So here you go. That's what we are looking at. I play this game at least, if not more often, once a year. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, normally... I try to play Galaxy Forge, but currently it doesn't work exactly for this game, and I'll explain that once we start playing the game. I had a fun little adventure trying to get this mod to work um, for this game. So we are going to play four-player PvE map. I'm thinking... Medium. Let's try random medium arena. Let's see what this is like. Four players, three stars. Actually, change change maps. I guess we want small. Shoot. Yeah, it's either three or four players. All right, I guess we don't have a choice. We're gonna play that. Uh, Random medium arena, just so there's some thing. And this game, 
will run roughly three or so hours, uh, whether I finish it or not. Uh, so we're going to play once this recording session as the Federation, and then the next recording session as the Klingon. It will only be three hours each, whether I finish the game or not. So let's go ahead and play. So we are the Federation. And we will change to Starfleet Gold. I like that one better. Versus... Well, I don't know who starts where. So I'm assuming Team 1 and 2 start together. I could be completely wrong on that, by the way. Uh, and that teams three and four start together. So cling on. And Cardassian. So, actually, I'm a fan of this one personally. So you can see they got the Federation and Klingons, the Romulans, the Kardashians, and the Borg. I don't know. These, the board were originally balanced so that you really couldn't play it without a, a group of people playing it. it the, originally, this race was designed for three humans versus a single AI sort of thing. And that's how they were balanced, that you would need three to four people to wipe out the board. I do not know if they are still that way. So, let's go ahead and select the Union. Now, it says Cardassians. The Cardassians have a neat thing. We're about halfway through the tech tree. You can either go full Cardassian or join the Dominion, which is cool. Uh, but we're going to do Federation. Uh, we're going to stay easy. Everything random. Let's go ahead. Victory options. Capital victory on. Everything else. All right. Game options. Fast in fastest income. Build speed. Ship speeds and research speeds. Normal culture and victory speed. Ooh. Well, we're not playing with board players, doesn't matter. Alright, everything else is... Oh, hmm. Well, it's set to default. And I'm going to turn AI Surrender on, which I usually don't. So, we should be okay. Large fleet sizes. We're good. Alright, let's accept this. Team 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go ahead and start. So, I had an adventure getting this to work. And I'm just going to start by chatting about it now while we get the game started. Um, so, like I said, uh, in case you're wondering, Stellaris is now my most played game on Steve Steam. It's got something like 1,100 hours. This is a very close second with 1,000 hours. So keep that in mind. 13-year-old game and Stellaris took five years to beat it. So I play a lot of Stellaris. I've also played a lot of this. All right, so I don't believe... Yeah, you can't... Aww. Why... Oh, I picked gold, not blue. All right, and I gotta remember not to use the WASD keys. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and build Meyer type ship here. No, we need to build. Prepare the docking bays. Not defenses, logistics. A Halifax. Yes. So we're gonna put that. Oh shit! Uh, don't know. Over here, these are Standing defense. By. We're gonna put this over here and pump out. Prepare the docking bays. Ten Nova Scotia frigates. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, no, that's the one we're building. And because I already selected and built it, it should automatically build. Uh, and we're gonna do some exploring, but... Begin a sensor scan. 
Begin a sensor scan. You go there. Begin a sensor scan. Go there. Bring up local star charts. Prepare the docking bays. We need to get a feel Begin for a this. Sensor scan. Well, Bring up bollocks. Local star charts. Just tell me where to go. You go there. Planetary system detected. All right. You are on auto survey, so now you'll just travel around. Station complete. You're on auto survey, so now you'll just travel around. Just tell me where to go. Okay. Prepare the docking bays. So it looks like we're in the upper left, maybe. Just tell me where to go. Bring up local star charts. Ooh, that is a long flight path. Okay. Planetary system detected. Mm -hmm. Bring up oh local boy. Star You're on auto survey. You're not going to survive. Begin a sensor scan. Planetary system detected. Oh, a class D. All right. Begin a sensor scan. With hardly any defenses. So Just we're grabbing this first. I don't think Planetary you can pause. Detected. Begin a sensor scan. I know minus is game speed. I usually play at fastest, by the way. I don't think there's a way. Hold on. You can see it's been a while since I played. Uh, key bindings. Is there a pause menu? Quadrant. Build. Plant build. Upgrade, Starbase, Globals, Game Speed, no, oh wait, Pause, is the pause key, what, there is no pause key, clear, add, fix, close, there we go. I'll do that. Pause. Alright, so we're paused, so I can chat for a little real quick. So, as you can see, the way this game is designed is you start with a home planet, much like RTSs. Uh, you've got, uh, I believe, titanium and dilithium. Right, you generate credits over time. You have ships. You can build, you can do this. Um, in addition, you have a capital ship count and a fleet supply, the higher fleet supply. Uh, you know, the more ships you have, the higher your fleet supply gets. There is a cap for that. You can research for a higher cap. The trade-off is, so you can see net supply 250, right? So, if we hover down here, what happens at this is is nothing. When you jump to this level, though, you start taking hits to your resources. So, the higher you go on this, the fewer resources you make. It's, it's, it's a balancing, theoretically a balancing thing. Um, there's a tech tree, two shipyards... Orbital Command, Federation Council, so on and so forth. Uh, it's very well done. I like to describe this game as it's it's a great RTS, but more importantly, this game walks, right? Because this is the only RTS I know of that involves multiple planets, star systems, jumping from star to star, that sort of thing. Okay? Um... So it's it's on a galactic scale. So that Stellaris, which is a 4X on a galactic scale, could run. Because this is an RTS, so it's very focused on combat and base building. So it's like, alright, can we get this to work? And they did. They smashed it out of the park. My biggest complaint was the fact that there is no story mode or anything like that. Um, to this game. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause. Is on slowest speed? Yeah. 
Um, Awaiting orders. We're gonna move this here. It looks like. Oh. Right. No WASD. I thought. Oh. Right click. There we go. We're just gonna rotate so we're at the bottom. Planetary system detected. And you can zoom in really close. Like if you want to see these, you can. And I'll try to show off. Ships and that anything. sort of thing. It's Excelsior classes, cruisers. So, despite All it being an 18-year-old game, you can really get in there. And you can zoom way out. Uh, Prepare the docking bays. Office. Is it built already? Yes. Alright. Just wanted to check that. So, we need a capital ship. Uh, Ambassador class, yes. Okay, that'll go there. So capital ships are hero ships, essentially. They get skill ups, and then there's your standard red shirt ships, Give which are just fought, essentially. Uh, different classes from uh, frigates and planetary defense all the way up to defiant heavy frigates Destroyers, cruisers, that sort of thing. Battle cruisers. Planetary uh, system and the hero ships have skills, they have levels, that sort of thing. But as I was saying, so you can see where our, we made, they made this first. Oh, interesting. Enemy engaged. Interesting. We await your command. Uh, and then from here, you can almost see the beginnings of, well, can we expand this even further? And it looks like we've got choke points-ish, either here and here, or here and, like, these, these systems. So we'll see what we can do. Crew standing by. There's Helm, our first ship, and we're gonna select. Alright, here's, a. Uh, you're not supposed to do this. I don't care about long range scan. I'm gonna do. Hear me out. I'm gonna select antimatter shunt. So that is now going to be auto. -cast. We're gonna perform crew training, and we're gonna create a Standing fleet. By. Here. So, tactics. Altering course. Fleet. Why is the frigate? There we go. Bring engines to full. There we go. Alright, so now the Planetary hero ship detected. is the Planetary leader. Detected. We're gonna head here. Now bring us about. And we're gonna try to take this planet. Which we should be able to. And then this asteroid. So you can see where this is almost the precursor to Stellaris. Um, but my adventure with this game, getting Planetary it to work. So like I said, I've been playing this for on and off for 13 years. I had six different folders spread throughout three different hard drives. All with Sins vs. Solar Empire, our stretch, our Star Trek Armada 3, or one of the two, or combinations of the two sort of thing. So the game was like, well, when I open this, and I'm just going to pause it real quick. We need an Aries and... Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Aries. Aries. And a Jupiter. Adjusting coordinates. Okay. Um, we also need to up our logistics cap. To the max, please. 24. Let's see us. So we're going to need one of each at least. Crew standing by. That should be fine. We're going to. Zoom in on this and you can watch it fly around. All right. So now we're going to grab colonize and we're good to go. Uh, protects. We will grab. 
high speed training. And that is it. Alright, turn that on. Planetary system detected. Look at this. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Wait. There we go. Uh so I had it I had when I realized that, I uninstalled the game, deleted all the access folders. Station. Alright. Uh we want this first, I believe. Just oh, that's searching. Oh, um, we get the most hangers, but I'm not sure. Planetary system detected. Research wow. complete. Planetary system detected. Okay. Oh, oh, you're okay. Nope, they're attacking. So, and then I reinstalled the game. I got that figured out. Station. Complete. And then I tried to get Galaxy Forge to work, and that didn't work. And what I realized was that we await your command. Oh, turn that off. Do we think? Bring engines. You can go ahead and do that. Um, that there's. Originally, you had to uh, install Galaxy Forge from a website and that an official website and that sort of thing. I'm gonna put this as Control One, this is Control Two, and this we fleet will command. be Control Nine. Sorry, I wanted the Maya type, uh, and we're gonna right-click here and start pumping out. Colonization was successful. These bad boys. What do we we've got? Six of them. Four of them. Ah, that's good. We've got some spare money. Let's go ahead and sell. Give the word. Uh, that's fine. And then here we'll go ahead and build Enemy inf infrastructure. Um. Oh, they are attacking! Son of a bitch! I didn't think... Oh, dear. Ah, fortifications. We're gonna need at least one of those. Alright, I wasted that. Usually, they don't have ships that can attack planets. Guarding planets. Give but that must have been a balance change to prevent people from sneaking planets. So we might lose this. Unable to comply. All crews stand ready. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's my bad. Wow. Well, that hurts. All right. Crew standing by. Give On the word. upside, all crew stand ready. We won, so let's Mel, head here and snag that. We should have tech, uh, shields. What's the cheapest? The Mirandas aren't bad, if I remember right. These Adjusting are. Columns. Um, pretty good, and we'll go for shields. We'll double up on those. And consider that done. Uh, so then I had to get Galaxy Force to work. And like I was saying, there were two versions. There's the version you were originally supposed to download, and then apparently at some point in patches, they just added Galaxy Forge to the base game. So then I discovered that you have to use the Galaxy Forge from the base game not the original one you had to download. So I got that one. Adjusting coordinates. So I got Galaxy Forge working in the base game. And I was like, Light Raider, Jaeger. All right, we should be able to wipe this out. Uh, we await your command. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. And then I couldn't get it work to work in the mod because I, I'm sure they make great maps, 
but... I think my music volume is down. Way too low. There we go. We're gonna up everything by about that much. Ah, uh, um, might be six, sorry, two, the Mirandas are, oh, escort frigates, oh, they Research changed it, complete. okay, well, let's do, Insufficient platinum. Eight of these. Oh, the sabers are more expensive. Acknowledge Starfleet. Interesting. The Away sabers the get evasive maneuvers, so we only want like ten of these. The Mirandas are the cheap workhorse, and they have a All stacking. Ready. Oh, they should have a stacking buff or debuff or something like. That. Acknowledge Starfleet. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Acknowledge we're gonna Starfleet. need this as well. Uh, let's sell Research some complete. stuff. Battle stations. And the way you increase is by building more. So we'll do that Starfleet. for now. Really? Yeah, that is 24. Battle stations. Shoot. Upgrade this. Alright, hold on. Let's... Cancel this. Aries... Research Because complete. we need... One of these. That should increase our yeah, fleet shipyards. Beautiful. Research complete. Once the Erie station is up and running. We await your command. Let's go ahead and Helm, bring us snag this plant. So like I said, I get Galaxy Forge working in the base game. And then I couldn't get working in the mod. I forgot how the hell do I get this working in the mod. I need some anti fire Those are eventually going to die. Alright, and the Miranda. Acknowledge Starfleet. Here it is. Defensive formation. So, Station for everyone complete. in range, they get a 1% bonus chance to hit and a 1% bonus chance to evade. Taps out at 20%. this going and then we need we await your command this needs to come back adjusting coordinates here H does five and two five and three seven and one it's a lot of cruisers there. Ooh, I don't want to take course. these. You have to get through the planets. Three warships. Adjusting coordinates. I don't know how strong that is. Okay, that's tier four. That's tier one. This is tier one. So I guess this theoretically is our next target. Station complete. Um, yeah, see. We didn't take the planet, so now they're popping up. We await your command. All crews stand ready. Okay, don't. No, they're, they're zooming. All right. All Nine. crews stand ready. Take this out. Go back to tech. Station complete. Destroyers. 
Centaurs are the anti-fighter for this. Okay. okay, so we have 14 left. So we can't do much. Let's bo boast. First we need repair dots. And then let's crank our phaser flyer. We await your command. Right. Let's take this planet. Bring engines to full. Uh, maybe. Let's go ahead and add another point there. Colonization there we was go. successful. Fortifications, and let's get our resources going. Appreciated. First thing we're gonna see. Eight. Eight. Research complete. Eight. Research oh. complete. Boy. So we can build two. every everything takes four. Let's do a Jupiter, and then when we get some, well here. And some trade and get that going. We await your command. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and Adjusting defend coordinates. Here. Uh, defenses. There we go. Let's get I'm guessing they'll come through here. Station first. complete. So get a dockyard here. And crank our planetary defenses a little higher. Adjusting coordinates. Sell some money and get another dockyard. Research complete. So the trick used to be that if you did this, they'd repair each other. But I'm not sure that's worth it anymore. Crew standing by. Okay, and you'll head there. You're going to repair up. We've got eight Mirandas, ten Sabres two excelsiors how much let's immediately jump up i'm not going to grab this one yet again for level one no penalties to income balance these out a little all right station complete um ah we need this station so let me complete. trigger this and this is the second most important thing. So we're going to max that out. And then sell some money, and we're good. Logistics are up and running. Let's go ahead. Nine. Basics. We're at eight Mirandas. Nine, ten. I like twenty. Station complete. Or supply. Insufficient. Latinum. What? Let's hover at 10. Starfleet. And I think this is the priority. Prepare um, the docking bays. Fortifications. Station complete. You max out at 8 as well. I don't think we do trade. Research complete. Maybe mining. Because that'll get. One, one, two, three. Theoretically four. Then if we take this, if this has to. I mean, ideally, I guess you want mining here, but this is going to provide next to nothing for trade. So I think, as weird as it sounds, you do an Aries. And, oh, not a trading post. And a Jupiter station here as well. Um, research complete. No defenses, so let's get some defenses up and run. Cheap, cheap, also cheap. Beautiful. Uh, and I try to do a mix. I'm not sure what the best way to do it do it is anymore, but we will see. How's our income? Could be better. 
Research complete. <clears throat> we await your command. Did I finish my story? I apologize. So Bring let's engines head to full. Into here. Right. Right. So yeah, I did not. What I discovered Research was complete. that they customized they went in and they changed the data file for every planet in the game to custom data files. So Galaxy Forge won't see Star Trek Armada planet. Star Trek Armada Research. If you have the mod complete. active, won't see base game planet. So you I have to go in and finagle that. Uh, and then my cursor okay, started the acting base. weird. I had to go in and change it. It was uh, the, the only way to fix that was to. We await your command. Sure. You guys go where you want. Uh, turn that on. How's our cash? Good cash. Nine. All crew stand ready. Sorry, two. Ten. We'll start pumping those out. Uh, research. Battle stations. Runners are good. I think we need a cap ship to activate this. Let's see. Battle stations. If we can grab. Both Prepare the of docking these. Base. So again, to get more capital ships, I need twelve hundred. Battle stations. We'll trigger that as well and see where that puts us. We should be Battle okay. Stations. Crew yeah, standing our, by. Our fleet clearing house here. I'll put one point into this, and Battle I stations. will decide when it is to be used. Research complete. Acknowledge Starfleet. Research complete. Oh, what's this? Oh, tachyon detection grid. All right. Um. Standing by. Which one do we want more? Max antimatter. Acknowledge Starfleet. Armor. This is technically the cheap. Let's jump to antimatter. Let's go ahead and max that out. All right. Standing so the way by. you get hero ships. Oh. Did I already summon her? No. Oh wow, they cost money now. So it used to be you just. The moment we research, but now they cost money. Okay. But they do count as capital ships. Okay. So once we take this planet, we'll go ahead and summon her here. She should auto join this fleet. We await your command. Research so we need complete. 30. Two. Each of these takes 10. They made these expensive, so I can build five of these. Oh, and we should be good. I see they haven't gotten rid of this bug. Or the bug is back. They got rid of it for a while, but occasionally ships will just get stuck on planets. Crew standing by. Bring engines to full. Shift. Helm, Shift. bring us about. Kill. That should fix that. Um. Back to research. Don't need outpost construction. All hands to battle stations. Um. Research complete. That's actually pretty important. Insufficient platinum. That's okay. We can always sell shit. That's actually pretty important. Okay. Yep. See, now it's off the planet. Alert the crew. Blow it up. Yeah, and then there was an issue with the mouse pointer, so I had to mess with window settings to fix the mouse pointer issue, so that would work. It, it was an adventure. 
All right. We await your please. command. My Bring planet, please. Again, rotate All around. All hands to battle stations. I want to show off us steam runners. All Let's hands go. to battle stations. This is beautiful. Actually, set. Video. Oh, is there interface? No? I think we're good. This is the best it gets. For some reason, I thought there was this. Maybe effects. Ah, ship detail. Extreme. Take a few seconds. Oh my! Colonization. Was okay, yeah, there successful. we go. Oh, that's weird. All right, hold on. Ah, higher is the best we could do. If we go to extreme, it, it, it's too much. Shadow quality. Oh. Off. That might be... Activated. Research complete. Hey! Tap that out. Ah, here we go. 16! And let's get resources flowing. So we can have 16. So 4, 8, 12. And then a subspace relay station. Let's get the research. Or let's get the trade first. And this is the other tier one. Because this is tier four, this is tier two. So it's kind of leading us into this direction. Oh, we're facing the Klingons. Oh, so it's one, three, two, four. Good to know. Okay. Okay. So let's head here, as this is the next planet we can take. Uh, this is income. We're good there. Uh, sell some of this. And let's grab... We're okay on Research ship types. Complete. Let's get hull plating. Insufficient platinum. I think that would be altering course. The most useful thing. Raw hit points. I love this game. Adjusting coordinates. Oh, right. Hold on. Five K. Five K. Ah. All right. We just need to wait till things go. I keep forgetting about that. So let's wait. We let's grab... Command. I mean, we had no issues Research with this. It, it was not as hard as I thought it would be. Research complete. Bring engines just to head pull. here. Galaxy capital ships. And a refit. Um... Oh, right. Uh, you know what? We need those Adjusting repairs. Adjusting coordinates. So that'll put us a little closer towards getting Voyager. Uh, and we're actually stand ready. Research gonna immediately complete. head back and repair up. Research complete. Oh. Um, Engage engines. I usually don't max out colonize. Let's go ahead and max out the antimatter shot. I think war might be half. I apologize. Adjusting coordinates. So the reason why we're bopping out Station is because this is experience. There we go. So now we can summon Catherine Janeway. Oh, 
Oh, there she is. Stand by. She's in the fleet. Let's check out Voyager. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Woo! It just took a while for my game to load in the graphics. So what are her abilities? Delta Flyer. She's going to fly into that planet, Janeway. Interesting. Probes. Eh. Or generative armor. Of making the vessel such funnel to complete. enemy attack. I guess the Delta Flyer. Station complete. Point defense. So it launches the Delta Flyer to support Voyager. So this used to be a holographic relay, which was cool. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. So it deploying holographic fleets. Well, we'll see what it is. But now that we this fleet is good to go, Bring we'll head here. Enemy engaged. Uh, we'll leave Orville to command. Oh, here we go. We need the subspace relay network. You get oh, and a perimeter detection grid. And after that, engage engines. More metal. More resources. Adjusting coordinates. We'll balance that out, and we're good to go. All crews stand ready. All right. Station so. complete. Woo, look at how look beautiful that looks. I think it's gonna go much better than extra uh this. Whoa! Be you alright. Complete. Yeah. So then this has its own. Oh neat. Well that definitely. We'll disable that. Always trigger that. Uh, if they're gonna come in one by one, we're just gonna pop them. It's okay. And then here... I like a mix. Alright, hold on. Let's... Okay, we get 15 slots. Research complete. This takes two. This takes one. This takes six. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna want one of these. That cuts us down to nine. Right? Yes. Research. So with complete. nine left. Ooh, there's eight. That's not gonna work. And then five. So, if we do this here, that leaves five. So I'm inclined to do a torpedo turret. And then, phaser turret, phaser turret. Phaser turn. Sure, that should be fine. Station complete. Uh, Research yeah, complete. Sure. sure and sure. No reason not to, so might as well. Did they clear this out yet? Yes, Crew they standing did. by. Helm, bring us about. Adjusting coordinates. Planet. Yeah, choke Research point here. Complete. Or ideally here, but we really can't. Station complete. Oh, I don't know what that is. Nice. And I guess here. So here and here? But we're having fun and doing good. I need to pause the game. So we're going to end this particular Station episode complete. here.
Let me go ahead and pause. Aha! So they are scouting. Good to know. Um, so we're going to do planetary expeditions. I don't think we're going to get anything. But it is nice to do. We've got the resources. Might as well. Uh, um, uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, or follow, comment, hit that bell, all that jazz. Uh, even better, check out other playthroughs I have done. Best is come check me out live. And until we see each other again, remember to be kind to one another. See ya! Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.